Matthew Perry has died at the age of 54, with famous friends and fans paying tribute to the late star. The actor, best known for his role as the king of sarcasm Chandler Bing in the hip 90s sitcom Friends, was found unresponsive in the hot tub of his Los Angeles home on Saturday night. He was found by his assistant, who alerted first responders with a team arriving to find the tragic star dead at the scene. Matthew will be remembered for starring in one of the most successful sitcoms of all time, alongside co-stars Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, David Schwimmer, Matt LeBlanc and Lisa Kudrow. It's been reported the Friends stars are reeling from the death of their beloved pal and feel like they've lost a brother. The actor will also be known for his brave and honest account of battling numerous addictions at the height of his fame. Speaking in his autobiography last year, Perry revealed he almost died numerous times and spent millions of dollars in a desperate bid to stay clean. Matthew once said he could never watch Friends because he could tell what substance he was using at the time of filming. But I think I'm going to start to watch it because it's been an incredible thing to watch it touch the hearts of different generations," he added in what became one of his final interviews. Warner Brothers TV, which produced Friends, confirmed news of the star's death on Saturday night, telling the world, We are devastated by the passing of our dear friend Matthew Perry. Matthew was an incredibly gifted actor and an indelible part of the Warner Brothers. Television group Family, the statement read. The impact of his comedic genius was felt around the world, and his legacy will live on in the hearts of so many. This is a heartbreaking day, and we send our love to his family, his loved ones, and all of his devoted fans. An investigation is now underway into Matthew's death, with no indication of foul play and no drugs found at the scene of his death. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116-123. Alternatively, you can email joe at samaritans.org or visit their site to find your local branch 09-17 Jamie Roberts Matthew Perry had special unbreakable bond with Friends co-stars Matthew Perry revealed the unbreakable bond he had with his Friends co-stars during their reunion show. The actor, who played Chandler Bing in 90s sitcom Friends, opened up on his special and unbreakable connection with his co-stars Courtney Cox. Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, David Schwimmer, and Matt LeBlanc. During the popular reunion show in 2021, Matthew explained how his role on the show changed his life, saying, I got the show when I was a 24-year-old man, the show ended when I was 34. It formed my life. And it was the time of my life. Read the full story, here. 08 colon 57 Jamie Roberts Adele pays tribute to Matthew Perry as she pauses Las Vegas show Adele has joined the many paying their respects to late actor Matthew Perry. The singer paused her Las Vegas show at the weekend to share an emotional tribute to the star. The 35-year-old Easy On Me songstress praised Matthew for being so open with his struggles with addiction, labeling him incredibly brave. She went on to reminisce over childhood memories as she opened up on her love for the Hollywood star and discussed his iconic role as Chandler Bing. Read the full story, here. 08 31 Susan Knox Matthew Perry revealed hopes of becoming a husband and father months before his death Matthew Perry revealed he still had hopes of becoming a husband and father one day just a couple of months before his tragic death. The Friends superstar was one of Hollywood's most famous faces and had previously dated a number of high-profile women, however he had never wed. Matthew was engaged to his literary agent Molly Hurwitz, 
who was his most recent known love interest. They called off their engagement in November 2021 after a year of being engaged. At the time, Barry said in a statement, Sometimes things just don't work out and this is one of them. I wish Molly the best. However, the actor still had hopes of one day being a husband and father. Writing in his memoir, Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing, which was released in November 2022, Barry detailed how he never imagined getting to his age without children. The actor said, I never imagined it'd be 52 and single and not playing fun, dumb games with very cute kids running around repeating nonsense words that I had taught them all just to make my beautiful wife laugh. He described how he was no longer afraid of love, and hoped his next partner would be the one. He joked, I'm feeling more confident and am not afraid of love anymore, so the next girl I go out with better watch out. He told how as a father, I think it'd be great. I really do. I grew up with a lot of little kids around me, and that's probably why, but I can't wait. Read the full story, here. 08 24 Susan Knox Matthew Perry's death explained from everything we know so far to unanswered questions Matthew Perry's death at the age of 54 has come as a shock to both his family and those who knew him best and the entertainment world at large. The Emmy-nominated actor, who was made famous as the beloved character Chandler Bing in the 90s sitcom Friends, was found dead in his Los Angeles home on Saturday afternoon. He has spoken openly in the past about his drug and alcohol addiction issues throughout the years of the show, citing he hopes he can help others with his honesty. According to the emergency services, they were called to his address for a cardiac arrest but when they arrived they discovered Perry in his hot tub having reportedly drowned. Apparently there were no drugs at the scene and it did not appear that any foul play had occurred. The Friends official Twitter account confirmed his death, as they posted, We are devastated to learn of Matthew Perry's passing. He was a true gift to us all. Our heart goes out to his family, loved ones, and all of his fans. A source added that there was no sign of foul play and that robbery homicide detectives are investigating his death. In his last hours, Perry was reported to have played pickleball, similar to squash, for an hour before returning home to relax. A friend of the star told Gathering Media that he had recently seen Perry looking sober and well. Shortly afterwards, Perry's parents and father-in-law were pictured outside his home, which has been taped off by police. Perry's 17-year-old neighbor has detailed the events that followed. Speaking to the U.S. son, the young man said, they, his siblings, were outside my neighbor's door. I didn't think much of it at the time until, the, police started arriving and everything. They didn't hammer the door, they kept silent. It was very disturbing, and very sad after all those years. From what he's gone through and his addictions and whatever. I saw everything, I feel bad for my younger siblings. I was very sad. At the same time, I did kind of expect it in some sense, but I didn't expect it to be so soon. He'd not lived there long. Perry was last seen out in public on Sunday October 22nd where he looked upbeat and content. Perry reportedly was found unresponsive in his hot tub. There has been some suggestion he experienced a cardiac arrest. Police sources have indicated that no drugs were found at the scene and there is no indication of foul play. Prescription drugs are also said to have been discovered. According to the LA Police Department, a call was received at 4.07 p.m. local time for a male in his 50s who was unresponsive due to a water emergency. 
It added that after arriving at the scene, no ambulance was required to transfer that person. Though there has been a suggestion that Perry suffered a cardiac arrest, authorities treated the incident as a water rescue. It is not known what caused Perry to drown at this point. Read the full story, here. 08 19 Susan Knox Matthew Perry plays pickleball he loved and was hilarious on court days before death Matthew Perry had been out playing pickleball in the hours before his death on Saturday and is pictured here on the courts in Santa Barbara on Saturday October 21st, just one week before his sudden death. The sport is a mashup of tennis and badminton and has boomed in popularity in America in recent years. The star was a keen player of the game and regularly played on the Santa Barbara courts near his Pacific Palisades home. The star was reportedly also playing pickleball on the Saturday before he deed. Extra host Billy Bush has revealed on Instagram that his partner spotted signs he wasn't quite right. He wrote, I spoke to the woman he played with this morning and every morning. She is in shock, adored Matt, she said he had been fatigued today and over the past week. A little more than usual. He played for one hour, then went home. According to Billy, Matthew played the sport every day, and sometimes twice a day, as he found it good for his regulation. The star loved the sport so much, he reportedly had a pickleball court put in his home, in Pickleball Reports. Speaking about the sport previously, Matthew joked, I absolutely love the sport. But I wish it was called anything other than pickleball. He played regularly with pickleball pro Matthew Manasa who shared, I've been playing with Matthew for six months and his progress is just amazing, I attribute it to his effort and his willingness to keep coming back. He's got a badass serve and his forehand drive is also pretty money, says Manasa. He's an awesome guy to be around, he's hilarious. When he's on a pickleball court, he brings that energy too. A pickler who can serve and make you laugh. Talk about a dream partner. Read the full story, here. 08 colon 15 Susan Knox Gwyneth Paltrow remembers magical summer with Matthew Perry and touching tribute to ex Gwyneth Paltrow has been a beautiful tribute to her ex-boyfriend Matthew Perry following his tragic death. Sharing a post to Instagram, Paltrow referenced the magical summer she spent with him. The post featured an image of a young Matthew and the caption said, I met Matthew Perry in 1993 at the Williamstown Theatre Festival in Massachusetts. We were both there for most of the summer doing plays. He was so funny and so sweet and so much fun to be with. We drove out to swim in creeks, had bears in the local college bar, kissed in a field of long grass, it was a magical summer. He had shot the pilot of Friends but it had not aired yet. He was nervous, hoping his big break was just around the corner. It was. We stayed friends for a while until we drifted apart, but I was always happy to see him when I did. I am super sad today, as so many of us are. I hope Matthew is at peace at long last. I really do. Matthew previously wrote in his autobiography that the pair shared a kiss in 1994. He said, at some big party we slipped off into a broom cupboard and made out, he said. We were both still unknown enough that it didn't make it to the tabloids. Matthew also opened up about a date with There's Something About Mary Starr, Cameron D. Oz, not long after she split from singer Justin Timberlake. He wrote, The date was at a dinner party with a bunch of other people, but upon seeing me, Cameron got almost instantly stoned. It was clear that she wasn't interested in me at all, 
Matthew also dated Julia Roberts after she appeared on the TV show Friends as his character's girlfriend. 08 09 Susan Knox Matthew Perry described his alcohol addiction as an allergy Matthew Perry described his alcohol addiction as an allergy that meant he can't stop. The actor discussed his addiction issues candidly in his memoir, Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing. He appeared on a number of talk shows to discuss his book, and broke down when Diane Sawyer showed him a clip of his stint on Friends. A clip has resurfaced on X, formerly known as Twitter, of a TV appearance where he is discussing his addiction. Perry said, I'm a drug addict. I'm a person that if I have a drink, I can't stop. He challenges an anti-drug campaigner Peter Hitchens, on the BBC Newsnight episode, who claims to believe that the addiction is a choice. In response, Matthew said, It is an interception of your mind and an allergy of your body. This is what happens to me, I start thinking about alcohol and I can't stop thinking about it. I am in control of the first drink, so I do all these things to protect myself from the first drink. But once I have that drink, the allergy of the body kicks in, this is all documented alcoholism proof, then I can't stop after that. The Friends star became a strong advocate for support for people with substance abuse problems in his latter years. He set up a center called the Perry House, where men could go to get clean. Matthew admitted that he wished his legacy would lie in the work he has done to help people with drug and alcohol-related issues when he dies. 06 05 Rosaline Fenton Matthew Perry's final wish After Matthew Perry's tragic death this weekend, it has been revealed the star's heartbreaking final wish was to marry and have children of his own. On Saturday afternoon, the former Friends star was found dead in his Los Angeles home at the age of 54. In his final hours, Matthew was reported to have been playing pickleball for nearly an hour before heading home to unwind. After returning to his residence, he asked his assistant to run an errand for him. When they returned, they found Matthew lying unresponsive in the water appearing to have drowned alone in his hot tub. Following his untimely death, a source close to the star revealed the saddening dream that Matthew always wanted a perfect family of his own. Despite dating a number of well-known celebrities throughout his career, Matthew never married and longed to have children or stepchildren. 05 27 Rosaline Fenton Matthew Perry was unusually fatigued before his sudden death. Friend reports Matthew Perry was said to be feeling more fatigued than usual before his tragic death at the age of 54 after reportedly drowning in his hot tub. On Saturday afternoon, the former Friends star was found dead in his Los Angeles home. In his final hours, Matthew had been playing pickleball for over an hour before returning home to unwind. After coming home, he asked his assistant to run an errand for him and when they came back they found Matthew lying unresponsive in the water and called for emergency help. After the heartbreaking news broke, TV host Billy Bush who was a close friend of Matthew's, said that he spoke to his pickleball partner who he was playing with that day. His partner noted that Matthew was complaining of his tiredness throughout the match which was out of character for him. 04 45 Rosaline Fenton plans for funeral underway Matthew Perry's body was released to his family Sunday afternoon, so they could arrange his funeral after the star died last night. This comes as a cause of death is still being determined. After the Friends actor died on Saturday night in an apparent drowning incident at age 54, his family said they are heartbroken. In a statement, 
The family wrote, We are heartbroken by the tragic loss of our beloved son and brother. Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor and a friend. You all meant so much to him and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. Matthew was born in 1969 to his father John Bennett Perry and his mother Suzanne Morrison. His parents split when he was very young, which led him to meet his stepfather Keith Morrison, a Dateline journalist. Both John and Suzanne remarried and welcomed more children into their respective families giving Matthew five step-siblings. 03 colon 45 Rosaline Fenton cast of Friends reeling after shock death The cast of Friends are said to be reeling following the news of Matthew's death this week. A source told Page Six, the cast is reeling from the loss of their brother, because that's what Matty was, their brother. It's just devastating. The cast are all expected to attend the funeral, after Matthew's body was released to the family today. A source told the Daily Mail, Lisa and, the, cast will all be attending his services. And discussing Matthew's four-legged companion Alfred, whom Hess said to have brought into his family around three years ago, the source added, Lisa is also considering taking in his beloved dog Alfred. The source added Lisa was baffled over her pal's death and added Matthew may have taken some of his prescribed medication which may not have been suitable to take before entering hot water. 02 42 Rosaline Fenton comedy writer slammed for cruel comment over Star's death A former SNL writer and comedian has been slammed on social media after he mocked Friends star Matthew Perry's untimely death. Kevin Brennan who used to write for the popular Saturday Night Live show, wrote Drowned in a Hot Tub. Ha 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 on X on his, formerly known as Twitter, while sharing the news of the much-loved star's death. He doubled down when TMZ posted about his tweet, adding, I didn't mock it. I just thought it was funny. But I do love it when junkies die. When someone asked why it was funny that the star died in a hot tub, he added, because it's not very deep. The tweets were sent from his account that promotes his podcast. 01 27 Rosaline Fenton Matthews Harsh words for his ex It was already common knowledge that Friends star Matthew Perry was previously engaged to Molly Hurwitz, but fans are discovering his almost marriage to Lizzie Kaplan. The One Line King shared the intimate details of his six-year relationship with Mean Girls star Lizzie Kaplan in his memoir, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing. Matthew never mentions Lizzie by name, but fans obviously figured out who she was. He wrote that he was seconds away from getting down on one knee, admitting that he had planned a giant romantic gesture. 00 17 Rosaline Fenton Elizabeth Hurley speaks out Elizabeth Hurley, 58, has paid a moving tribute to her co-star Matthew Perry, 54, after he was found dead in the hot tub of his Los Angeles home. The two starred together in the rom-com, Serving Sarah which was released in 2002. She wrote, R.I.P. Matthew Perry. So sad to hear the news of his passing. He was an incredibly talented comedian and a lovely man x 00 no one Rosaline Fenton Hard Times inspired Perry According to People magazine, Matthew Perry used his near-death experiences as a motivation to get sober. My therapist said, the next time you think about taking Oxycontin, just think about having a colostomy bag for the rest of your life and a little window opened, and I crawled through it, and I no longer want OxyContin. Another near-death incident occurred in 2020 during one of his rehab stays. Page 6 reports that the actor's heart stopped beating for five minutes after doctors administered Propofol which interacted badly with the hydrocodone in his system. 
The Emmy-nominated actor was extremely open about his past struggles with drug and alcohol issues. Writing in his 2022 memoir, Perry revealed that at one point he was hospitalized in a coma for a week and given just a 2% chance of survival. At the age of 49, Perry revealed that his colon exploded from opioid overuse. He was in a coma for a week and he had to use a colostomy bag for nine months following the near-death experience and had undergone a total of 14 surgeries on his stomach. 23 colon 02 Zoe Delaney Sarah, Duchess of York pays tribute Sarah, Duchess of York paid tribute to the late actor Matthew Perry saying he had given so much joy and laughter to so many. The former wife of Prince Andrew, also known as Fergie, appeared in an episode of the American sitcom Friends in which Perry starred as the witty and sarcastic Chandler Bing. In a post shared on Twitter, renamed ex-bionary Elon Musk, she wrote, I remember being thrilled to have met a natural talent, comedian and brilliant actor. It is a tragedy to lose you so early in life, rest in peace dear Matthew, you have given so much joy and laughter to so many. 22 51 Zoe Delaney BBC Row with complete full resurfaces Matthew Perry used his platform for good prior to his heartbreaking death on Saturday, including appearing on a British TV show to advocate for drug policy reform. But during his time on BBC Current Affairs programme Newsnight in 2013, the Friends actor found himself having to debate with a controversial broadcaster who tried to dismiss his arguments. Writing in his memoir last year, Matthew recalled his encounter with his fellow guest and didn't hold back, branding the writer a complete tool and telling readers how the debate had been moderated by a cranky guy called Jeremy Paxman who was famous for being rude to guests. Read the full story here. 22 42 Zoe Delaney Friends co star says Matthew helped him get sober. The Simpsons voice actor Hank Azaria has said that Friends co star Matthew helped him to get sober, and that it was heartbreaking to have to watch the late actor deal with drug and alcohol addiction. Hank who starred as Phoebe Buffay's boyfriend David in the much-loved 90s sitcom, said in an Instagram video today, Matthew was the first friend I made in Los Angeles when I moved there. I was 21 he was 16. We did a pilot together, we became really good friends and we were really more like brothers for a long time. We drank a lot together, we laughed a lot together. We were there for each other in the early days of our career and he was to me, as funny as he was on Friends and he was and other things too, in person he was just the funniest man ever. And every night, he was like a genius, he would start to weave comedy threads together, just hanging out, little joke here, joke there, joke here, joke there, and then by the end of the night he would weave them all together in this crescendo of hilarity. He went on to add, I really loved him. A lot of us who were close to him felt like we lost him to drugs and alcohol a long time ago because as he documented in his autobiography there was so much suffering. I had to pick it up and put down the biography like 11 times it was so painful for me to read. It was really, as his, friend who loved him I knew he must be suffering. But the details of it were just devastating, just physically, emotionally, mentally, psychologically. You know, from a recovery perspective, I mean I'm a sober guy for 17 years. I want to say that the night I went into AA Matthew brought me in. The whole first year I was sober, we went to meetings together and he was such a great, I got to tell him this. As a sober person he was so caring and giving and wise and he totally helped me get sober. I really wish he could have found it in himself to stay with the sober life more consistently. 
2022 Zoe Delaney Cryptic Matman social media posts explain Matthew had shared cryptic Instagram posts, calling himself Matman in the weeks leading up to his death. The first Matman post he shared was of a red glowing bat symbol. The second post was of a screen which read, Batman plays pickleball. The actor was a keen pickleball player and has previously spoke about his love for the sport. He apparently played the sport at least once a day and was reportedly out playing the game on Saturday before he returned home. This was the sixth Instagram post relating to Matman. One image he shared showed a carved pumpkin with a Batman symbol. He also shared a video of what looks like three grapes, with the caption, This is what I've had to eat today. Im Matman. Read the explainer here. 21 27 Zoe Delaney Friends co star to adopt Matthew's beloved dog Lisa Kudrow is reportedly considering adopting Matthew's dog Alfred following his death, as sources close to her say she has a very sad theory about his final hours. A source told the Daily Mail, Lisa and, the, cast will all be attending his services and discussing Matthew's four-legged companion Alfred, whom Hess said to have brought into his family around three years ago, the source added, Lisa is also considering taking in his beloved dog Alfred. The source added Lisa was baffled over her pal's death and added Matthew may have taken some of his prescribed medication which may not have been suitable to take before entering hot water. Read more here. 25 Zoe Delaney What are COPD meds and what do they treat? Law enforcement sources said earlier today that prescription drugs were found in Matthew's home, with TMZ reporting that authorities found antidepressants, anti-anxiety drugs and a COPD drug in the house. It is not confirmed whether Matthew had any drugs in his system at the time of passing, and an autopsy by the Los Angeles County Coroner is set to be conducted today. The results of this autopsy may not be known for months. COPD drugs are aimed at combating a lung condition which causes breathing difficulties. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a group of lung conditions causing breathing difficulties, including emphysema, meaning damage to air sacs in lungs, and chronic bronchitis, a long-term inflammation of the airways. It is fairly common in adults middle-aged and above and is particularly prevalent among smoker. Read more here. 20 03 Zoe Delaney Vigil in New York City draws huge crowd friends fans and tourists have gathered in New York City to pay their respects following Matthew's death. Fans and mourners in the American city have been seen taking pictures of the Friends building and leaving flowers while posing for pictures in their Friends merchandise as they mourn the Chandler Bing actor's untimely death. In press interviews, some at the huge gathering told reporters how much the late actor inspired them. One attendee shared how Matthew's performances throughout the 10 series of Friends inspired them to move to New York City, with another saying they feel like they've lost an actual friend. 19 41 Zoe Delaney Friends cast reeling as it's like they've lost a brother The cast of Friends are said to be reeling from the loss of Matthew, with him having been described as their brother following the news of his death. Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and David Schwimmer, alongside Matthew, made up the main ensemble cast of the hit TV sitcom and remained close friends following the series ending in 2004. The five actors haven't yet paid tribute to Matthew online but it's now been claimed that the cast of the show are said to be reeling following the news, which has been described as devastating. Read the full story here. 
19.05 Zoe Delaney Miriam Margulies shares regret over encounter with Matthew Harry Potter star Miriam Margulies paid tribute to the late actor by sharing a clip of her X-rated anecdote to the Friends star after admitting she regrets encounter with him. Miriam took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to share a clip from the BBC chat show when she appeared as a guest alongside actor Matthew. She paid tribute to the Friends star after he tragically died on Saturday aged just 54 after being found in his hot tub. Miriam wrote, R.I.P. Matthew Perry. You will be missed by so many. A great man. The actress went on to share her regret over the interview, read the full story here. 18 colon 16 Mia O'Hare First Dates Star Recalls Funny Encounter with Matthew First Dates Star Merlin Griffiths shared a funny encounter he had with a late Matthew Perry as he paid tribute to the star. The TV bartender recalled meeting the Friends star at members-only gym and spa Chelsea Harbour Club. Taking to X, formerly known as Twitter, he wrote, He'd just finished playing tennis and he and his friend each had a giant spinach-based super juice thingamajig. He then pulled out a pack of Marlboro lights and asked me for a light. You obviously couldn't smoke in a health club bar, despite it being prior to 2007, and so I gave him my clipper and pointed him towards the terrace. That was the last I saw of him. He stole my lighter, a good one too. It's okay Matthew, you can keep it. Rest in peace buddy. Read more here. 17 colon 59 Zoe Delaney call to mystery woman after family to break news of his death Matthew's assistant alerted an unrelated woman about his death after calling emergency services and his family. The late actor's personal assistant left the 54-year-old actor alone at his home in Pacific Palisades in Los Angeles for just two hours while they picked up a new iPhone for him and some prescription glasses. When they returned to the home they found him unresponsive in the jacuzzi and called 911. Emergency responders received a call at 4.07 p.m. that the star had suffered a cardiac arrest and arrived to find the star dead in his hot tub. After alerting the emergency services, the assistant called Perry's mother Suzanne and one of his siblings. But then they made a fourth call to a woman who is unrelated to the Friends star, sources claim. Read the full story here. 17 colon 32 Zoe Delaney Gwyneth Paltrow remembers magical summer with Matthew Oscar winner Gwyneth Paltrow has remembered a magical summer with Matthew and recalled spending time with a late actor just before he hit the big time with friends. Captioning a picture of Matthew on Instagram, Gwyneth told her fans, I met Matthew Perry in 1993 at the Williamstown Theatre Festival in Massachusetts. We were both there for most of the summer doing plays. He was so funny and so sweet and so much fun to be with. We drove out to swim in creeks, had bears in the local college bar, kissed in a field of long grass. It was a magical summer. He had shot the pilot of Friends but it had not aired yet. He was nervous, hoping his big break was just around the corner. It was. We stayed friends for a while until we drifted apart, but I was always happy to see him when I did. I am super sad today, as so many of us are. I hope Matthew is at peace at long last. I really do. 17 colon 22 Zoe Delaney Matthews family break their silence with heartbroken statement Matthews grieving family have broken their silence on the beloved actor's death and issued a statement. The star's family members have said they are heartbroken by the tragic loss of our beloved son and brother and recalled how the Friends actor brought so much joy to the world as both an artist and as a friend. 
Matthew's family concluded their statement with, You all meant so much to him and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. Read the full story here. 17 colon 07 Zoe Delaney Matthew's cause of death will be unknown for some time. Matthew's cause of death will be unknown for some time, but there is no suspected foul play. Los Angeles Police Captain Scott Williams has told the LA Times, the cause of death may not be known for some time, but at this point foul play is not suspected. The late actor's cause of death will be determined by the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office. Read the full story here. 16 colon 35 Zoe Delaney heartbreaking final photo with dad who made secret cameo on friends Matthew returned to Instagram after a six month social media hiatus, with one of his poignant final pictures featuring a loving picture with his actor dad on his Instagram just days before his tragic death. Just last week, Matthew took to his page with 8.6 million followers, sharing a snap where he is seen with his tight arm around his 82-year-old dad. He captioned it, Here is me, and my father John, both holding a beverage. The pair are seen smiling with Perry seen wearing a navy polo t-shirt and matching trousers and white socks, and John dressed in a red shirt khaki chinos, and brown shoes. Read the full story here.